Hello, one light for one. Thank you for your video. I really appreciate it. But there are a few things I want to point out. The first thing is, you say that in order to prove that there is no gold in China, you have to know everything about everything in China. True. Very nice. Um, and now you say that the same argument applies to God. If you have to, uh, if you want to say that there is no God, you have to know everything about everything. Um, yes, everything about everything. But I can't understand that these two words, God and gold, are very similar, and indeed, this is only one letter difference, but they do have completely different properties. While gold is just shiny and expensive and very nice, God is more like just everywhere. And the fact that he is everywhere, which I hope you agree, we can use to prove that he doesn't exist, or at least he isn't everywhere. But if we take it as an absolute statement that God is everywhere, indeed we can prove that he doesn't exist. Okay, you have a matchbox. If you have a matchbox, just take it and look inside it. And then look really, really, really hard. And if you see no God, that means that there is no God. Or, okay, this might be very primitive, but if we could prove that there is no God in this matchbox, then there would be no God. Obviously, it's very hard to prove because we don't have all of the senses. We, they, they might exist. There, there might be senses that we don't know about. Um, well, but this is a completely different topic. Next one, what do you say? You say 1% of knowledge. Well, uh, how can you have 1% of knowledge, really? Um, knowledge is something ungraspable. It's like something you cannot count. It's something... Um, oh well. If you find a way to count knowledge, then I will call you a genius. Okay, next one. You, an argument used by all you creationists and theists and Christians. Well, this argument says that you need a painter to have a painting. Very true. Indeed, very nice. <laughs> okay, and then you say um, you need a creator to have something created. Well, ooh, not so true. Uh, let's look at crystals. I think even you can agree that crystals grow. They grow out of stuff in the earth. And they don't need anyone to grow. And indeed, they form very beautiful pictures. They form things. These crystals can be even nicer than paintings. They are very beautiful, and they grow out of almost nothing. They don't need a creator. They don't need like little dwarfs, dwarfs to shape them. No, they don't need them. Um, okay, then you say that the eye it is such a complex thing. Whoa! Well, it might be amazing that you can see your hand in front of me, but. Um, well, it really is not that fascinating if you know the... Well, it is still very fascinating, but it's not stunning anymore. If you know the evolution of the eye, well, you can just look at it, type evolution of the eye in Google, and you will find it very quickly. And indeed, um... The eye is a very complex thing, but it has been proven that the eye 
formed throughout millions of years and it wasn't just a thing created from nowhere indeed there are things there are some things that um, seem to be created, designed um, um, I will post a link to a movie a YouTube movie uh, about these thingies on my description of the video description um, okay next one you say that the earth is a sphere and that the Bible states that and that is why the Bible is so cool well I wonder why you Christians and why you Christians always when there is something that has been proven wrong in the Bible you say well the Bible is not to be taken literally you cannot interpret it in a lit in literally but always when you find something that is true you say oh see the Bible is right see see and even the fact that the Bible is right in a little like certain like a very little 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 part doesn't mean that it is right in all of it let's say Hitler mm. Hitler said that bread is good for the people well I think it's true Jesus said it as well but was he right in all the other things I, I hope you don't believe it uh, then a few other things you say something about the free flow of the earth in space well the hell or well the heaven did you get that from I mean if you say something about the Bible that it states something you really should quote and use the station about oh, where you have it from well you say that but I cannot understand sorry um, you really should quote what it really says it might um, be really very enlightening for you um, well actually about the sphere in the earth that the earth is a sphere um, you say that in Isa 40.22 it says um, that the earth is a sphere well that is what I found it is he who sits above the circle of the earth and its inhabitants are like grasshoppers <laughs> sorry I thought you were like sheep but this is new to me um, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain and spreads them like a tent to live in oh very poetical indeed very nice um, it is still discussed what it really how it really should be translated from Hebrew as I read here but um, it is almost certain that it is meant to be a circle not a sphere um, however another very scientific thing that the Bible says is that pi equals three mm. Well, I don't believe that the Bible says that, but if we are in this topic, why not to say this? Well, I think this was all of it. I don't have any more things to criticize. Um, however, I want to say a few nice things now. These nice things are that I'm an agnostic as well and I really agree with you the point that many atheists are actually agnostics and they are agnostics oh sorry they are atheists because I think I believe that they don't know anything about agnosticism and they are against religion they oppose it they oppose Christianity but they don't know anything about agnosticism 
and that's why they think there is one Christian and one side which is atheism or well science um, I also don't really believe in all this scientific crap is you know 100 years ago they believed in really crappy things and they said that it is scientifically proven and blah 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 and now how can I know that these things that they say now won't be in 100 years uh, laughed at well okay thank you for watching thank you for listening I hope you enjoyed it um, feel free to criticize as long as it's constructive and please don't use circular logic thank you goodbye cheers